complete one-off unique rover. A TCZ. Z standing for Zagata. Rover P6 2000, I would say it's probably cut away from about there. As we open this boot, you'll see the bumper's in three pieces and the middle part of the bumper actually comes down with the boot. Now it is having some work done to it, so a few of the bits are not in place because Colin's doing some jobs. But if I take you down in here, you will see what I mean about the boot floor. So down here in the boot, this is the back of a standard Rover P6 2000 boot. The original fuel tank would have sat up right here, but this one has a, well, it looks like a completely custom made tank. And this one, it looks brand new. The spare wheel is mounted vertically here. This is the mounting location for the wheel, so the spare sits here. And uh, Colin said it's a pig awkward. Well, you imagine. Round wheel, square hole, fuel tank in the way. Hmm. Yes, a tight fit. And whilst we're looking there, if you see this strange mechanism, yes. Looks a bit awkward stuck out there, doesn't it? What does it do? Well, I'll show you. A hatchback on a P6? Well, not quite. I'll go and press a button inside and show you something. drive the car with the boot or hatch like this is so you get extra ventilation especially in Milan a little awkward to lean in and put your shopping in but as long as you don't buy a six pack of two litre bottles of coke you'll be alright a lot of Alfa Romeos, Aston Martins, uh, Lancias, all sorts. So you might see some similarities to some cars. So while I'm down here, I was just going to say, these light lenses at the back here, they're actually from a Volvo truck. <laughs> you can only get them from Germany, apparently. Yeah. yeah, try and find a Volvo truck with those back lights. These are the Humber dials, Jager dials, and if you look, it's still got the 
Series 1 P6 Cowling and switch gear. All the switches are pretty much the same apart from that should be there if you're in a standard P6. This is the magic switch that does the back window. It's got Ducelia written on it. The only other thing I've seen with Ducelia on was a distributor in my Land Rover. You've got the petrol reserve, choke, heater controls. They're all the same as standard P6. You've got a nice little interior light here rather than up here. It's just the mirror here. No mirrors. Oh, there's one stuck in the passenger one, of course. The heat events have been incorporated into this different dashboard. Quite like that one there, to be honest. Very nifty. You've still got the driver's side shin bin and the passenger side. The centre console is exactly the same. As a standard P6, it's out at the moment because Colin's been fixing the gear lever. This is quite a rare early gear knob. It's wooden with like a plastic, I think it's plastic, it might be glass actually, top on it. It's a shame it's a bit broken up. Slightly different to the original windy windows on the P6. You say you might recognise these parts from different cars. Different type. ET headrest. Back seat. Not a lot of leg room. Little door pockets. Looks like they've got some kind of Irving. Um, Irving seat belts, but in black. Let me have a look. Yeah, nice. They're very nice. So the same seat belts as uh, I've got in my P6, but with the black webbing and the black sock on. They are very nice. Here's the view of the back from inside. I don't know if there was ever a a parcel shelf or a dividing thing perhaps I'm not sure because I say Colin's got a few bits off of it so I don't know what should be where little vents here I presume are to demiss the screen opens differently doesn't it? Now I'm going to keep hold of this bonnet because it's windy and it's only got this little stick holding it in and I don't trust it. So this is standard Rover 2000 TC engine. Apart from the carbs, the carbs have been cut down I presume to fit under the bonnet. Maybe the dash pots have been cut down. But I think Colin said that they are slightly different sized. But I'm no good with halves and things, so I'm not 100% sure. But everything else is, is pretty standard looking P6 under here. It would have had uh, Dunlop brakes originally, but it's had the girling conversion, so all the brakes are now girling. The steering is lighter on this, thankfully, not through modification, just through the weight, because this car is a lot lighter. I 
Unfortunately, the sump is off at the moment, so you can't hear it running. But it is just a standard TC2000 engine, so it's nothing special. Although I have been told that this car does shift. Well, I think that's all the exciting things I've got to show you on this car today. If you want to know any more about it, have a little Google. There's not much information about it online. There's not many photos of it, to be honest, because I don't think it gets out much. Well, there goes the car. It's being pushed back into the workshop to have the work finished. Big thank you to the owner, whoever you are, for letting me film and look around your car. It's fantastic. What a piece of history. Thanks for watching. Bye.